Jamie Dimon, a name synonymous with American banking. He is the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, one of the world's largest and most influential financial institutions. Dimon's career has spanned decades, marked by both remarkable successes and significant challenges. From steering J.P. Morgan through the 2008 financial crisis to becoming a leading voice on economic policy, Dimon's impact on the financial world is undeniable. This is the story of his rise to the top. Diamond's story is one of ambition, resilience, and a deep understanding of the complexities of global finance. He is known for his sharp intellect, blunt speaking style, and unwavering commitment to his company and the industry he helped shape. His journey offers a glimpse into the high-stakes world of Wall Street, where fortunes are made and lost, and where decisions can have far-reaching consequences. Born in New York City in 1956, Diamond's path to financial dominance was not preordained. However, his early interest in business and finance, coupled with his education at elite institutions, laid the foundation for his future success. His career, marked by a series of strategic moves and bold decisions, ultimately led him to the helm of J.P. Morgan Chase, where he has remained a powerful force for over two decades. This essay will delve into the life and career of Jamie Dimon, exploring his formative years, his ascent in the banking industry, and his impact on the global financial landscape. Jamie Dimon's upbringing played a pivotal role in shaping his worldview and ambitions. Raised in a Greek-American family in New York City, he was instilled with a strong work ethic and a deep appreciation for education. His father, Theodore Dimon, was a stockbroker, which exposed a young Jamie to the world of finance from an early age. Dimon excelled academically, attending the prestigious Browning School, a private all-boys school in Manhattan. He then went on to Tufts University, where he graduated summa cum laude with a degree in psychology and economics. It was during his time at Tufts that Diamond's interest in finance began to solidify. Seeking to further his knowledge and credentials, Diamond enrolled in Harvard Business School. At Harvard, he thrived in the competitive environment, honing his analytical skills and developing a reputation for his sharp intellect. It was here that he crossed paths with future mentors and colleagues, including Sandy Weil, who would become a significant figure in Diamond's career. After graduating from Harvard with an MBA with distinction, Diamond briefly considered pursuing a career in consulting. However, his passion for finance ultimately led him to American Express, where he began his journey in the world of banking under the guidance of Sandy Weil. This decision marked the beginning of a remarkable career that would see Diamond rise through the ranks of Wall Street to become one of the most powerful figures in global finance. Jamie Diamond's early career at American Express was a formative period, providing him with invaluable experience and a solid foundation in the financial industry. It was here that he began to understand the complexities of corporate finance and the importance of strategic decision-making. Working closely with Sandy Weil, then president of American Express, Diamond quickly established himself as a rising star. Weil's mentorship was instrumental in shaping Diamond's leadership style, teaching him the nuances of corporate governance and the art of negotiation. Diamond demonstrated a keen ability to analyze financial data, identify growth opportunities, and manage complex businesses. His analytical skills and strategic thinking set him apart from his peers, making him a valuable asset to the company. When Weil left American Express to pursue his ambitions of building a financial services conglomerate, Diamond followed, joining him at Commercial Credit in 1982. This move marked a significant turning point in Diamond's career, offering him new challenges and opportunities. At Commercial Credit, Diamond was given increasing responsibilities, playing a key role in the company's aggressive growth through acquisitions. His ability to strategize and execute complex deals was put to the test, and he excelled in this high-pressure environment. Diamond's tenure at Commercial Credit was marked by a series of strategic mergers and acquisitions that transformed the company into a financial powerhouse. His vision and leadership were crucial in navigating these complex transactions. He was instrumental in the acquisitions of Primerica, Smith Barney and Travelers Insurance, demonstrating his talent for integrating large, complex organizations and extracting value from these mergers. Each acquisition brought new challenges, but Diamond's strategic approach ensured their success. His ability to navigate the intricacies of these deals and manage the cultural integration of different corporate entities earned him a reputation as a skilled operator and a financial wizard. Diamond's knack for understanding the human element in business was as important as his financial acumen. 
His ability to navigate the intricacies of these deals and manage the cultural integration of different corporate entities earned him a reputation as a skilled operator and a financial wizard. His strategic vision and operational expertise were key to the successful integration of these companies. Through these acquisitions, Diamond played a critical role in building the foundation for what would become Citigroup, one of the world's largest financial institutions. His contributions were pivotal in shaping the future of the company and the financial industry as a whole. His experience at commercial credit solidified his reputation as a rising star in the world of finance, known for his sharp intellect, his ability to make tough decisions, and his unwavering commitment to delivering results. Diamond's career trajectory was a testament to his hard work and dedication. It was during this period that Diamond honed his skills as a leader, developing a management style characterized by demanding excellence, fostering a culture of meritocracy, and instilling a deep sense of loyalty among his employees. His leadership principles would later become the cornerstone of his success at J.P. Morgan Chase. Section 4, The Making of J.P. Morgan Chase in 1998, Diamond's mentor, Sandy Weil, orchestrated the historic merger of Citicorp and Travelers Group, creating Citigroup, a financial behemoth that combined banking, insurance, and investment services under one roof. This merger was a groundbreaking move in the financial industry, setting a precedent for future consolidations and redefining the scope of financial services. This mega-merger, one of the largest in corporate history, reshaped the financial landscape and solidified Vile's position as a titan of Wall Street. The merger not only expanded the reach of Citigroup, but also demonstrated the potential of integrated financial services, influencing the strategies of other major financial institutions. However, it would also mark a turning point in Diamond's career. Despite the initial success, the merger brought about significant challenges and internal conflicts. Initially, Diamond was appointed president of Citigroup, serving as Weil's right-hand man. In this role, he was responsible for overseeing the integration of the two companies, a task that required meticulous planning and execution. He was instrumental in integrating the vast operations of the merged entities and driving the company's growth. His strategic vision and leadership were crucial in navigating the complexities of the merger, ensuring that the combined entity could operate efficiently and effectively. However, tensions arose between the two powerful executives, leading to Diamond's abrupt departure from Citigroup in 1998. The clash of egos and differing visions for the company's future made it impossible for both leaders to coexist. Undeterred by this setback, Diamond saw an opportunity to lead a major financial institution. His departure from Citigroup did not diminish his ambition or his reputation in the financial world. In 2000, he became CEO of Bank One, a struggling Chicago-based bank. This new role presented Diamond with a fresh set of challenges and opportunities to prove his leadership skills. He quickly set about turning the bank around, streamlining operations, cutting costs, and improving its risk management practices. His hands-on approach and decisive actions were instrumental in revitalizing the bank's fortunes. Diamond's successful turnaround of Bank One earned him widespread praise and solidified his reputation as a skilled leader capable of navigating complex challenges. His achievements at Bank One did not go unnoticed in the industry, further enhancing his standing as a top executive. In 2004, Diamond orchestrated the merger of Bank One with J.P. Morgan Chase, another legacy financial institution with a storied history. This strategic move was aimed at creating a more robust and competitive entity in the financial sector. This merger created one of the largest banks in the United States, with Diamond at the helm as CEO. The combined resources and capabilities of the two banks positioned J.P. Morgan Chase as a formidable player in the global financial market. Under his leadership, J.P. Morgan Chase emerged as a global financial powerhouse, weathering the storms of the 2008 financial crisis and emerging stronger than ever. Diamond's strategic foresight and resilience were key factors in the bank's ability to navigate the turbulent economic landscape and achieve sustained growth. Section 5. Navigating the Financial Crisis The 2008 financial crisis was a defining moment for the global financial system and a true test of leadership for Jamie Dimon. The crisis, which began with the collapse of the housing bubble, quickly spread to the financial sector, causing widespread panic and uncertainty. As the crisis unfolded, with banks collapsing and the global economy teetering on the brink, 
Diamond's steady hand and decisive actions helped steer J.P. Morgan Chase through the turmoil, earning him widespread recognition as one of the few Wall Street leaders to emerge from the crisis with his reputation enhanced. His ability to remain calm and focused during such a turbulent time was crucial in maintaining the stability of the bank. Unlike many of its competitors, J.P. Morgan Chase had taken steps to mitigate its exposure to subprime mortgages, the epicenter of the crisis. This foresight was a result of Diamond's cautious approach to risk, which had been a hallmark of his leadership style. Diamond had long been wary of the risks associated with these complex financial instruments, and his conservative approach to risk management proved prescient. His insistence on maintaining a strong balance sheet and avoiding excessive leverage helped the bank weather the storm better than most. However, J.P. Morgan Chase was not immune to the crisis. The bank faced significant challenges, including a sharp decline in its stock price and mounting pressure from regulators and investors. The bank was drawn into the government's efforts to stabilize the financial system, acquiring Bear Stearns, a major investment bank on the verge of collapse. This acquisition was a critical move to prevent further destabilization of the financial markets, and Washington Mutual, a large savings and loan association, at the urging of the Federal Reserve. These acquisitions were not without risk, but they were seen as necessary steps to restore confidence in the financial system. These acquisitions, while controversial, were seen as necessary to prevent a complete meltdown of the financial system. They demonstrated Diamond's willingness to take bold actions in the face of unprecedented challenges. Diamond's leadership during the crisis was characterized by his deep understanding of the financial markets, his strategic vision, and his ability to navigate complex regulatory environments. His ability to make tough decisions under pressure, and his commitment to the long-term stability of the bank, and his willingness to work with policymakers to find solutions. Diamond played a key role in the discussions that shaped the government's response to the crisis, advocating for measures that would stabilize the financial system and protect consumers. He emerged from the crisis as a voice of reason and a leading advocate for reforming the financial system to prevent future crises. His experiences during the crisis underscored the importance of prudent risk management and the need for a more resilient financial system.